Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to make an old-fashioned Christmas wreath. Christmas wrapping paper offers endless possibilities of different types of wreaths you can make. I thought that this paper was especially charming, and I loved all the old-fashioned designs on it. I chose my favorite one, and I laid it down on my wreath, and then I took something round that was larger than the whole of my wreath, if you use a glass glass, you can see through it and you can place that exactly where you want it, trace around it and cut it out. Then you want to lay your wreath on it. You don't have to secure it yet because you want to put your ribbon through, but lay your wreath on it so that you know where you want to put your embellishments. And for this one, I found these beautiful little sparkly bows and these picks from the floral department and these cute little snowflakes. What I did with the snowflakes was to take them and actually cut them in half so that they were still 3D, but they were easier to glue on the wreath. So you want to take your embellishments and place them around on your wreath so that they're exactly where you want them to be. And then you can always cut your picks apart. So I cut the little pine cones off the pick and the little berries and place them around. I knew that I wanted to put these little berries here, but I didn't need to place them while I was determining how I wanted it to look. Once I got to that point, I found that it was really important to use a tweezers to get it down where I wanted to go. Before you put your embellishments on your wreath, you want to put your ribbon through if you're going to weave it through like I did. You want to start from behind, come up over a joint, and weave your ribbon in and out, in and out, all the way around. If you have a ribbon that has two sides to it and there's one side that you prefer, it's a really important that you keep that side up as you go around and then check it before you secure your ribbon on the back. Once you've gone all the way around, it's time to secure your ribbon. Take a bead of glue, put it in the seam, hold it till it's cool and do that to the other side. Then you can put your embellishments on, having putting, putting them wherever you would like them to be. And now you can use your hot glue gun to secure them. You can either put the glue on the embellishment itself or on your wreath, and it will stick because it has been finished. To finish it off, I used a simple one-loop bow, and then I used a very small little pine cone and some of these little berries, which again I had to put on with my tweezers because it's hard to do that with the hot glue. And the last thing you want to do then is to put a little bit of glue on the back of your piece, tack it down, Make a hanger for the top, and there you have it, a very old-fashioned Christmas wreath thanks to some beautiful Christmas paper. 